Kyle Turner for NECFrontRow.com here to bring you the latest edition of the NEC9, the top nine plays from the past week in Northeast Conference sports action. We start things off at number nine. As the announcer says, that's why they call him the bullet. Watch as FDU's Devontae Jamison goes coast to coast against Manhattan for the end one. Right threw it away. Here comes Jamison. Devontae Jamison hitting another gear into the open floor wow. and one. That's why they call him the bullet. Number eight. Stonehill's Maureen Stapleton delivers a nifty backdoor pass to Paige Martin for the finish in traffic against UNH. For Stonehill, for Maureen Stapleton, now Martin or Baruta, back down inside, good pass, and it rattles around and in for Paige Martin. Not a nice look that time for Maureen Stapleton. And the Skyhawks go back up one. Number seven. St. Francis U's Kendall Carruthers dials it up from long distance on this NBA range step back for three against Youngstown State. Carruthers working with it, backed out from the lane. and This is a good matchup here, all back and uh, Kendall, nice, nice job. Splashing it through for three, Kendall Carruthers. Number six, St. Francis U executes the pick and roll to perfection with Cam Gregory finding Justin Liberis, who hangs in the air for the pretty reverse finish at Iona really hasn't gotten into yet. Seems nice to need pass. a reset and a recharge. Whoa. Reverse layup. What a pretty finish for Liberis. Coming in at number five. Sacred Heart Sierra Johnson beats the horn at the end of the first quarter, going up and under for the bank shot from the top of the key against NJIT. It's to go. Loose ball. Picked up by Johnson, who has under three to shoot. She's got to get it off. Heaves it up and off the glass at the buzzer. Number four, Lemoyne beats the first half buzzer as Sydney Lusher throws the home run ball to Latoya Baker, who lays it in at the horn against Colgate. A dozen points for Brody tonight has only missed one shot from the field. Usher football pass. Baker catches up to it and scores. Number three. Wagner's Talia Washington calls game against St. Peter's, drilling this clutch step back jumper to give the Seahawks a road win. Second win of the season after an 0 5 start. Washington from the elbow. Money! Timeout, St. Peter's. Coming in at number two. How about a twofer from Lemoyne's Luke Sutherland? First, Mike DePersia drops the dime to Sutherland, who flushes it viciously with one hand. Green up high. Now it's Sutherland, he returns the favor. Less than two minutes later, the grad student was back at it again, throwing it down with two hands as part of a career-high 35-point outing against Binghamton. Now Sutherland in open route. And now for our top play of the week. Latoya Baker, the playmaker, is back on the countdown once again for Lemoyne, this time on the defensive end delivering a massive volleyball-style spike block against Colgate. He knows how to draw a foul, and here on the offensive end, she's blocked for the second time tonight by Baker. Well, folks, there you have it. Those are your top nine plays from the past week of Northeast Conference sports action. Fans, don't forget, if you see a great play, let us know on X at NEC Sports or by using the hashtag NEC9. This will be the last NEC 9 until the new year, so enjoy the holidays, and I'll see you in 2024. For NECFrontRow.com, I'm Kyle Turner. Until next time.